Hello friends, things are going from bad to worse for Manchester City. Not only have they lost their last game to Tottenham by one goal to nil, leaving themselves still five points behind Arsenal in the Premier League title race, they have now been charged by the Premier League themselves. We're going to be delving into the statements in just a moment, but before we do, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it with a like and subscribe if you haven't for more content like this coming very soon. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well, you don't want to miss what's coming up in the near future. But now. Let's talk Manchester City getting charged by the Premier League. A Premier League statement reads as follows. In accordance with Premier League Rule W.82.1, the Premier League confirms that it has today referred a number of alleged breaches of the Premier League rules by Manchester City Football Club to a commission under Premier League Rule W.3.4. The statement continues, and just to be clear, I'm not going to be actually naming the exact rules because I think that would become a little bit monotonous, but the statement reads as follows. Details of the Premier League rules that the club is alleged to have breached are as follows. Number one, in respect to each of the seasons 2009-10 to 2017-18 inclusive, the Premier League rules applicable in those seasons that required provision by a member club to with the Premier League in the utmost good good faith of accurate financial information that gives a true and fair view of the club's financial position, in particular with respect to its revenue, including sponsorship revenue, its related parties and its operating costs, namely a for season 2009-10, the Premier League rules for the remainder of the season have been broken, b for seasons 2010-11, the same follows. C for seasons 2011 slash 12, 2012 slash 13, 2013 slash 14, 2014 slash 15, 2015 slash 16, 2016 slash 17, and finally 2017 slash 18. Now, even though I'm not reading the actual rules, you can see that they do change in certain instances, so just obviously apply some logic there. And we continue. Number two, in respect of A, each of the seasons 2009-10 to 2012-13 inclusive, the Premier League rules applicable in those seasons requiring a member club to include full details of manager remuneration in its relevant contracts with its manager, namely, number one, for seasons 2009-10 to 2011-12 inclusive, number two, for season 2012-13, Premier League rules inclusive, B. Each of seasons 2010-11 to 2015-16 inclusive the Premier League rules applicable in those seasons requiring a member club to include full details of player remuneration in its relevant contracts with its players, namely number 1. For seasons 2010-11 and 2011-12 Premier League rules apply. Number 2. For seasons 2012-13 Premier League rules separately apply. 3. The same goes on, the same goes on. 2013-14 and 14-15 Premier League rules apply. And for 2015-16 Premier League rules apply. It's really getting very interesting now, isn't it? We are not done. Oh, no, no. Number three, in respect to each of the seasons 2013-14 to 2017-18 inclusive, the Premier League rules applicable in those seasons requiring a member club to comply with UEFA's regulations, including UEFA's club licensing and financial fair play regulations, namely, for seasons 2013-14, Premier League rule applies, and B, for seasons 2014-15 to 2017-18 exclusive, Premier League rules apply. But wait, there's more. In respect to each of the seasons 2015-16 to 2017-18 inclusive, the Premier League rules applicable in those seasons on profitability and sustainability, namely A, for seasons 2015-16, Premier League rules apply, and B, for seasons 2016-17 and 17-18, separate Premier League rules apply. We are not done yet, people. Number five, in respect of the period from December 2018 to date, the Premier League rules applicable in the relevant seasons requiring a member club to cooperate with and assist the Premier League in its investigations, including by providing documents and information to the Premier League in the utmost good faith, namely A. For seasons 2018-19, Premier League rules apply. For seasons 2019-20, Premier League rules apply. C. 2020-21, D. 21-22, and E. 22-23. 
The statement finishes by saying commissions are independent of the Premier League and member clubs. The members of the commission will be appointed by the independent chair of the Premier League Judicial Panel in accordance to the Premier League rules. The proceedings before the commission will, in accordance with Premier League Rule W.82, be confidential and heard in private. Under Premier League Rule W.82, the Commission's final award will be published on the Premier League's website. This confirmation is made in accordance with Premier League Rule W.82.1. The Premier League will be making no further comment in respect of this matter until further notice. Man City have released a statement which reads, Manchester City FC is surprised by the issuing of these alleged breaches of the Premier League rules, particularly given the extensive engagement and vast amount of detailed materials that the EPL has been provided with. That's very interesting considering the fact that they are actually being charged with not cooperating with the Premier League, so that's strange. The club welcomes the review of this matter by an independent commission to impartially consider the comprehensive body of irrefutable evidence that it exists in support of its position. As such, we look forward to this matter being put to rest once and for all. This is extremely interesting. I'd be very curious to know what's going on at Man City and how they are reacting to this news. It doesn't strike me as surprising. I would imagine they would have known about this investigation for quite some time, so I imagine they would have been lawyering up, they would have been preparing for this to happen if the if the worst was to come out and it's going to be interesting how this story progresses over time but my main question is around Pep Guardiola and how he would react to this. He was quoted only last year saying, when they are accused of something, I ask them, tell me about that. They explain and I believe them. I said to them, if you lie to me the day after, I am not here. I will be out and I will not be your friend anymore. Now, that those are some very harsh words from a person who takes himself very very seriously he takes his work very very seriously and if he feels that he has been wronged in any way i do not think that he will hesitate to walk out of the door so the main question is will man city be charged and if they are charged how badly will they be punished are they guilty or will pep guardiola change his stance let me know how you see this in the comment section below and this does go from bad to worse for man city as martin ziegler who is the chief sport reporter for the times says that man city City under Premier League rules mean it will not be allowed to appeal any sanction to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which is the same Court of Arbitration for Sport which overturned their UEFA ban that UEFA imposed on them last year. That's where we saw the Pep Guardiola quote, and that's where that came from. So they can't even go towards the Court of Arbitration for Sport to get away from this. So any sanctions will not be able to be appealed in that manner. But my final question is around Manchester City themselves. Punishments range from huge fines to possible stripping of titles and even expulsion from the Premier League. But regardless of the punishments, have Man City already not been tarnished? Is just the mere association with these kind of allegations the thing that could really tear them down from Premier League greatness? Will the titles that they have already won be tarnished in the views of other fans? Will Man City care about the way that they are perceived by the outside world? Because they certainly do appear to be. And how will their fans react to the amount of charges that have been put at their doorstep? It's something that is going to need to be considered for quite some time and i'd like to put it to you whoever is listening at the moment let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on how you view man city and how you think this is going to progress going forwards that's it for today guys thank you ever so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave the video with a like and subscribe if you haven't for more content like this coming very soon make sure you hit that notification bell as well you don't want to miss what's coming up in the near future and like i said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on man city are you a man city fan tell me how you're feeling about this and if you're not a man city fan how do you perceive this information do you think man city will be properly punished do you think they're guilty and how do you see this investigation panning out in the long run what do you think the punishment should be if they are found guilty let me know your thoughts i'd love to hear from you but like i said that's it for me for today thank you ever so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and i hope to see you in the next one but until then my friends take care of yourselves and bye bye